We want to figure out if an e-foil is a product we need for the lake. I've never e-foiled, but Justin experienced it on vacation in Puerto Rico, fell in love with it, and was hooked. I'm obsessed with classic foiling, and when I first saw a hydrofoil pumped, I couldn't believe it was real and needed to get one. Now we're on a journey to fly longer and farther. That can be achieved pretty easily with an e-foil, so why did it take me so long to try one? If I'm honest, I think I was worried I'd give up my love for classic foiling, as soon as someone handed me a trigger and I was flying on an e-foil. An e-foil is a surfboard with a battery-powered prop that takes advantage of a hydrofoil to fly above the water. There are two industry-leading brands, Flight and Lift. When Flight invited us down to Nyack, New York for our first flight e-foil experience, I realized I needed to face my fear of giving up on classic foiling. We'd like to thank Rudy and the team at Flight for hosting us on that cold day in Nyack and kindly loaning us e-foils for a month so we could experience flight at home on our lake. This helped us form an opinion about the sport of e-foiling. Ted and Aiden at Adirondack eFoil were also super generous and invited us to Lake George, New York for our first lift eFoil experience. Aiden and Ted also generously loaned us their lift eFoil so we could experience it on our lake. And if you're in Lake George, please book a lesson and experience lift firsthand. Lift and Flight are the BMW and Mercedes of eFoils. They both make great products that are high performance, well designed, and well built. Obviously each has loyal followers and there are differences, but somewhat minor to an untrained eye like mine. We had two beautiful models. From Lyft we had the 5 foot Sport V2 with the 200 Classic Wing. This is not the newer V3 model that came out in 2021, but still a great setup. From Flight we had the Series 2 e-foil on a couple of boards including the 5 foot board. We also had a number of front wings, rear wings and shims to tune our setup. Unlike classic foils, where there's more than 57 brands to choose from and sometimes thousands of unique foils that can be built within a single brand from six components, specking an e-foil is easier, with fewer decisions, and both websites help facilitate those decisions. Both Lyft and Flight have demo locations and flight centers. Their affiliates offer lessons and demonstrations to give you the opportunity to try an e-foil. I'm convinced flying on a foil should be a bucket list item, and it's far more accessible than skydiving. I suspect the majority of people who take a lesson can fly within an hour and experience the feeling of flight above the water. E-foils can be dangerous. Please be safe and review the safety guidelines from both flight and lift before using, and please proceed at your own risk. I expected e-foiling to feel more clunky, less fluid, and just not as authentic as classic foiling, because an e-foil weighs close to 70 pounds, which is four times heavier than my classic foil. But I was wrong. I was amazed at how similar they felt. Flying on an e-foil was even easier than I expected. Once you get used to using a trigger to generate thrust, it was a lot easier to fly on an e-foil than a classic foil. Learning to classic foil can be a multi-hour experience that takes a lot of patience. It was amazing to fly around our lake without the pull from a jet ski or boat and the need for a driver and spotter. It was also amazing to everyone passing by. We must have been asked a hundred times about what we were doing, how does it work, where do I get one, etc. While I love pumping long distances, it's tiring and an e-foil was relaxing, it still required the same focus and attention of classic foil. You can't let your mind wander or you'll end up in the water. E-foiling has the same exhilarating feeling of flight as classic foiling, and I've yet to meet someone who didn't like that feeling of flight. Our experience on the lake proved to me that e-foiling is here to stay, and I guess most people who've experienced it would agree. It's mesmerizing, therapeutic, and a perfect disconnection from your day to day. However, there's room for both in my life. E-foiling does open up a new kind of fun on the lake, and my family fell in love with it. However, I don't think it can replace classic foiling for me. And for anyone who's experienced both, I think they'd agree that there's a time and place for each and would enjoy having access to both. I might have some convincing to do with my seven-year-old son, however. He was just learning the classic foil when he tried knee foil, and now he's reconsidering his classic foiling career. To be honest, I'm glad these were loaned to us or I may never get him back on a classic foil again. 
Classic foils are special. There's nothing like pumping in complete silence around the lake under only the power of your body, and then riding a distant wake of a boat. The feeling is a thrill and an adrenaline rush, and like many things in life, the tasks that don't come easy are the most rewarding. Dock starting, pumping, and thieving the wakes of passing boats are challenging, but they're absolutely rewarding. E-foiling offers the same great feeling of flight, but on a much less steep learning curve. It's also surreal to put that power in the palm of your hand. If you've never flown on a foil before, I encourage you to try it for yourself. You too might be hooked by this amazing sport.